Hello everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home. So in today's video, we are getting started on a major makeover. We are going to be tackling this barn here on our property. This barn was built back in 1982 and was basically falling apart, at least the outside of it was. The whole outside of this barn needed to be completely ripped off. As you can see, all of the siding was rotted and warped. All of the wood was warped. The doors were all broken and needed to be taken down. So this is going to be a huge undertaking and will be a two-part project. So today you're going to get to see part one and then next week on Saturday you will get to see part two where the barn will be completely finished. This is a two-week project for sure. So we had to split it up into two different videos. As you can see, this barn was just falling apart. I'm trying to show you some footage here just to give you an overall idea of how bad this barn was looking. Okay, before we get started on this huge job, let's walk you inside and give you a quick overview. We do use this for some storage right now. We've got like a table and different things in here. But over in this corner is where the chicken pen is. They've got their feeder in there, roost, their egg box where they lay their eggs. Over there, um, we have a hole in the wall where they go outside, but we wanna make that bigger. We'll be eliminating that window, taking out this rolling door and just doing a barn door right here. And we wanna extend their pen over so that it's actually like half of the barn right here. We'll be eliminating the shelves on this side and then putting a window in the middle, adding like a bigger shelf on the bottom, some pallets for feed storage, new door. And yeah, it's gonna be a lot of work, but we are excited to get started on this project. Look at this door right here, it's so warped. <laughs> It's just like a wave and then there's a giant hole in the bottom. So yeah, this definitely makes for some good makeover content, but it's going to be a lot of work. The chickens are a little concerned. You're destroying their home. <laughs> going. Can be nice. Yeah. <laughs> with no sliding door right here. Yeah. We are going to be able to save the spouting. We're just going to repaint it. Um, but we gotta pull this off, obviously, to redo everything. So this big sliding door was completely broken. It didn't work at all when we bought the house. They just had it like bungeed shut on the inside so it didn't blow in in the wind or anything. 
So we just had to take that down and discard it. It wasn't salvageable. We are trying to salvage what we can, but as you could see from the before clips at the beginning of the video, basically none of the exterior of this barn was salvageable. Thankfully, the roof is still in great shape. The bones of this barn are in great shape. We just had to take off all of the exterior trim and the siding, everything that was rotting and broken basically. Once we get all of the exterior removed, we'll be putting up new siding, new trim, painting everything, new window. We're going to do two big barn doors here at the front that will be stained. And then I also ordered a solar barn light for the front of the barn. We're just going to try and give this thing a complete makeover and make it a really cute little barn for the backyard. So Jalen was trying to figure out what to do about the concrete here at the front of the barn. They had poured this concrete slab here in front of the barn and it was cracked and starting to kind of fall apart, but we still wanted to leave it. But the concrete was starting to chip away here at the front of the barn. So you had like this uneven jagged ledge right where our barn door would need to open. So we're not quite sure yet what we'll be doing there, but we have to decide next week whether we're going to remove all the concrete or just come up with another idea. We're just not sure what we'll be doing there. So they had three windows on this barn that obviously broke at one point in time. So they just put plywood over them on the inside. And we are just going to completely remove those, put siding over them, and then just have one big window on the left side of the barn over here. We actually got an antique window to put over there. It's really neat. I'll show you that later on in the video. trying to figure out where we're going to put the door frames because we're going to do two barn doors here in the front and we were going to do the one on the right way over here where the old one was but we think that's going to be too much of a gap in between each door so we're going to try to have them towards the middle a little bit more on the day that we choose to work on this shop there is not a cloud in the sky which i guess is a good thing because we don't want it to just start raining while we're working while we have everything pulled off of the shed but some clouds would sure be nice right now If you have Instagram, be sure that you're following me over there because I always share about our house projects, 
over there before I share about them here on YouTube so you get to see some sneak peeks over there and just more into our everyday life. So be sure that you go and follow me. It's just my name, Hannah's Happy Home. So here Jalen's framing out for the two barn doors that we're going to have on the front of the barn. We won't get to building those until part two of this barn makeover next week, but we're really excited about those. They're going to be a nice statement piece on the front of the barn. They'll be stained and then we'll have that big barn light in the middle of them with like a little planter box underneath of that with a bush. With every project that we do we always seem to end up having to run down to the hardware store for something and of course we don't have enough concrete bolts so I got to run down there and grab two of those it makes us very thankful for our little hardware store okay I got the bolts that we needed and then I also grabbed a pizza from the little local cafe because we're all starving <music> found a date over here in the concrete of when they built this shed, January 31st, 1982. So he's got the door framed out over here and now he's working on getting the one framed out over here on this side. So we're gonna have half of the barn over here be the animal pen and then this side over here will be storage. So you'll have a door that'll go into the storage side and then a door that'll go into the animal pen side for like cleaning it out and stuff. So this barn makeover project is something that we have been wanting to do for a long time but then this summer the wood prices went up really high as I'm sure you all know and so we just pushed off the project until those prices came down a little bit and they recently came down a little bit here and so we just went ahead and bought the siding and the wood for this project. This siding that Jalen wanted to put on the barn in particular is what went down in price and so since that's what we were buying the most of we wanted to go ahead and get it. It. two by fours actually came down to like five dollars and something as well which is really awesome Okay, so it's the end of day one. It's 7.30 at night and we started at like 8.30 this morning. So we're just gonna call it quits for the day. We got all of this ripped off the front. We got these doors framed in, the siding put on, and we got everything ripped off around half of the back and then the other side over there. So we will get back at this tomorrow, but we are just going to call it quits for the day.
Good morning, everyone. So it is day two of working on this barn. We got a lot done yesterday, but we're hoping to get a lot more done today. It's another beautiful but hot day today. There's no clouds in the sky, so we're hoping that we at least get a few clouds this afternoon. We don't want to get any rain until we get everything painted, but a few clouds would definitely be nice. We got this antique window yesterday because we didn't want to put a brand new window in this barn. We wanted to put something in that looked like a barn window, something older. And this is a really unique window from an old home in Tucson. It's got like latches on the side. This is a neat latch here and it's hinged. And it's just a really cute wooden four pane window. We got the window installed, finished putting up the sheeting on the left side, and now we are working on the back side of the shed, just finishing tearing all of the old stuff off, putting up the new sheeting, removing the windows, and just getting this finished up back here. We will obviously still have to do trim and paint and all of that, but it's already looking so much better just with that old siding gone and this new sheeting put up back here. Right now the only animals that we have for this barn is our 15 chickens but we might end up getting more animals in the future like a sheep or a goat something like that we are going to be building a bigger fence for the chickens and it'll also be big enough for a sheep or a goat a smaller farm animal like that um, we're just going to use tea stakes and wire and just build something a little bit more permanent out from the barn instead of the fence that we have now. And also having a nice little barn with a pasture adds some value to the house. Most people when they buy a house in this area they like for it to have a little animal shelter, barn, pasture, something like that.
Okay, so it's the end of day two and it will also be the end of this video. We are just going to quit and take a break for the weekend. Get back to it early next week. We'll have all next week to finish up this shed and to film part two. But we got all the siding put up over here, got the window put in. We still have to seal that in around the edges with trim and stuff. The whole barn has siding on it now. We just have to put up the trim and paint everything build the doors out front there still is a lot of work to do here's the siding on this side of the barn we still have to cut out the um, swinging door for the chickens to be able to run in and out of the barn we're going to make sure the door is big enough for like a goat or a sheep as well still have to do trim on the side but that is going to be it for this video we hope that you enjoyed it stay tuned for part two of this barn makeover next saturday we'll be making a lot of great progress putting up trim painting everything building some nice big stained barn doors for the front so yeah just stay tuned to see it all come together we'll see you in our next video and thank you so much for watching bye